Men cheat. It's natural. Men just cheat. Hey, hey. Is it natural? Y'all need to stop it. Hey, Kim Zulu. Oh, my, I've never met a... I've never in my life dated a Zulu or had like a... a this kind of... Yeah. yeah. Like a, such a very good, chilled conversation with a Zulu. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People get it faster than that side. One, one, the reason is this. <laughs> They are not fucking us. We've got people giving us friendship allowance. We clap hosts. Friendship allowances. This yeah. is goddamn new. What the hell? You had it after how long when you had surgery? I still have the marks. No, I'm saying sex. Stop, stop. Uh, yeah. When did you? When oh did my you god, the after? first one. Damn. Not because okay. yes. Not but everybody you, believes in masturbation. Yes. But you believe in cheating. No. Spiritually. It's that's why. Well, no, like let me explain to you. <laughs> let me yeah. explain to you. <laughs> there is something I'm Hey sexies, welcome to this episode of Dineo on Sex and Stuff. So and stuff. stuff. Hey, sexies, it's that time of the day. It's time to get sexy with us on Dineo and Sex and Stuff. I'm your host, Osamadona Dineo Wanakaranaga, the older sister of the nation. I don't fly solo, I fly with my co-host, Dominic. Boo, 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 boo. What up, man, Nick? I know, man, do you know? What's up? What's up? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me, you're making me blush. Even my throat is blushing. <laughs> it's inspired by Eno, the pink. New, new, new. Hey, Barbie. Hey, Barbie. <laughs> so joining us today in studio is Chris, representing Nigeria. Dominic, representing South Africa. The rest of us representing South Africa. That is Dolce. That is Eno. This is Eva and Osa Madonna. Alrighty, gents. When was the last time you had sex? Tell the truth. Three weeks back. Yo. Three weeks. You're just or just a team. Okay, is that team? Ah, uh, eh, or just a team. What about Shaisa Anza? What? Hey, pretty. Really? Are you on punishment? I've been a bad boy. Yeah, I'm Zala. But I'm sure it's sex in about two weeks. Why? I don't That's know. I've just yeah. I don't know. I've been. Do you have a lot on your mind? I haven't been in grand. Yeah. Is it? I was going to try something and still didn't know. Is it? What? Oh no. So suit. That's wild. When was the last time you had sex? Last week. Last week. Last week. Last week, yeah, you and I on the same page last week. I'm trying to think, did I get laid over the weekend? <laughs> Thinking um, the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Doing a check. <laughs> I need to do a check real fast. No, I didn't get laid over the weekend. The last time I got laid was... I think it was Friday night. That does count as last week. Hey, yeah, it's last week. Yourself? I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> last week. Yeah, last week, yeah. Is your vagina still burning so. for it? Mine still craves it, yeah. It's like, come back. Yeah. <laughs> come back. <laughs> should be getting some tonight. It should be, baby, should be. <laughs> when was the last time you got laid? I think a month ago. <gasps> yeah. Why don't I believe you? Uh, believe me. She know, I tell her everything. Yeah. She a month know, ago? Yeah. Is she telling the truth, Eva? Yeah. She is. When was the last time you got laid? I'm a Jehovah's Witness. My mom is watching. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you really going to do that to us? You just came from Paris uh, two days ago, friend. Did they not make you Vala Maketi? No, I didn't have Paris. No. no. I don't remember. When the last time? When was the last time? When the last time you got laid? Well, actually, okay. It's Speak for well. yourself. I'm struggling to trust them. When was the last choose. time you had sex? You know, comment like... down below. This is for the YouTubers, right? Yeah, comment down below. Just uh, <laughs> We're doing some administrative work. We just want to do a, a sexual calendar change check if you're getting laid because if you're not getting laid you're probably going to be one of the miserable ones Ooh. hating on everything that we're doing Just handle your business then come back you're going to be fine <laughs> now that we've got that out the way welcome everybody we're here to talk about what it's like dating Nigeria and dating South Africa. Ooh. Four women, two men. You see, I'm starting to balance the equation, but I'm still yeah. leaning to the bigger voice of the girls. We have to. We have to. Do you guys really even love us? Or do you love each other and use us? <laughs> Ooh, very, important. Ooh, very important. I am just asking, is it a fair question? Yeah. Am I representing the ladies I well? I don't think men love us. Men love each other. They can have a better uh, men's night out. Play. They can spend more on, on, the, on, on friends. It's not about them being bisexual or being straight. Men love each other. They don't love us like that. Is this true, men? I, I think we don't shout at each other. 
we listen to each <laughs> other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if I had... If it, <laughs> yeah, oh I, can, I can have a chat with Chris. Chris will never be in my face. <laughs> yeah. When I try to explain, I'm wrong. I don't explain, I'm a problem. With Chris, we chill. Hey, yo, bro, are you okay? Now I'm good. With other girls in the mix or now? <sighs> with, no, no, with no... Even as gents, roaming. We yeah. have a great night. You know, I, but now if I had to just sit with you guys, five minutes is more than enough. Someone's going to shout at me. We've witnessed oh, but... that on this show <laughs> with you. We've witnessed that where the voices <laughs> overpower you. Yeah, yeah. I think now, for me, it's just the same way. We can have a, a disagreement and definitely within one, two, five, ten minutes, we're sorted. Yeah. We can just have a drink and we've yeah. forgotten about it. Sure, sure. We're not... I'm not holding any grudges yeah. against him. It's as easy as that. I mean, yeah. women don't even like each other. Let's start there. Oh, I, I've seen it a lot. You have no but vagina. You cannot speak. I've seen yeah. it a lot. At you're clubs, telling the truth. If, uh, let's say you guys are sitting like this. If they're not, not making money together, they yeah. like each other. A girl other. walks you in like this. Definitely you guys will give them that looks. Is, you that will. is eating your back. Ish. That is not uh, contributing. Mm. I feel like with, with women, naturally, yes, you... I mean, um, just now, I just met a few women. I, I cannot say I just hate you or what. I don't have a problem with, you know, I actually love her. I love a few women that I met here. So uh, I feel like when women hate each other is when they're not benefiting anything from each other. Or when, I don't know. Mm. I, personally. Oh, you but, know? But we're very snacks towards each other. You're telling the truth. We are kind yeah, of quite snacks Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Do you agree that women are snacks towards each other? I need a comment. Somebody even say men, church. men gossip more than women. When are we getting to that? Definitely. When are we getting to that point? Yeah. So definitely. let's stop saying everything is women. Men, yeah. even men, men need. Mara, you know, for sport, raba, raba, attend us slowly but surely. Mara, why Lisa? Okay. So last time, why? She's here violence. She chose violence. You know. Let's go violence, baby. Violence. No, no, don't. No, you must never ever do that. My gosh, imagine you. Quite. Do men care about cosmetic surgery? Yeah. Not that it matters. We've already yeah. ascertained That's that we do it for us, ourselves. You know? yeah. Uh, yeah. But we can't take away Uguti. Uh, the next person's physical appearance might appeal to me. Mm. So if I like thick girls and you're thick, I'll be, you know. Yeah. And I'm sure there are men that are attracted to slim waist, thick booty, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. So I guess in that sense, it matters for those that it matters for type of thing. I think one of the ladies sounds mentioned... Diplomatic, ah, sounds diplomatic. Sounds diplomatic. Come yeah. on, Bella. Look. But it's true. I, but it's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. And I've seen some BBLs where ish, the bums are a bit square. You understand? Mm -hmm. And for me, mm, it's not. But maybe for my friend here, he'll be like, I... Chris, do you like, <laughs> a, Chris, do you like a square bum? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, eh? Yeah. I don't think anybody would want a square one. Uh -huh. You want it all round. Sure. You understand? Yeah. It might, because it might be high at the top side, okay? Uh -huh. And it might be on the side as well. You can't be too sure what sure. you see. But I know that definitely a square. Yeah. Uh-uh. Mm. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So, so just to go back to that a bit, I will each to his own, mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes, uh, for me personally, let me not be diplomatic, I like proportion. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, right. more often than not, the BBLs I've seen, the proportion is a bit off, you know? And my eyes haven't adjusted because I haven't seen disproportionate people that long in my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm I trying to say? I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Well, so maybe after a couple of years with more, and then it's going to be easy on the eyes. Like, okay, square bums are fine. Yeah, but I think in South Africa, Mm -hmm. There are a lot of nice ones. Nigeria, hey, yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we are confused. No, 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 no. Nigeria, no, Nigeria no. ones, yeah. So Maybe because speaking, Nigerians, yeah. sorry, where's my microphone? Maybe it's because in Nigeria, naturally, the women don't have the body. So obviously, naturally, you should have something to add on to that. It's like, you know, it's like, don't maybe Nigeria like a women have big nyash. No, no, naturally, they don't. It's but they, true. Very few, yeah, yeah maybe two percent. Maybe two percent, yeah, mm. no. Yeah, it's not. So women in South think. Africa have bigger yash than women yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the beauty, <laughs> and, yeah, if you go to German, it's like, mm, yeah, like, like, German. German. I think Zulus, 
and curses. Yeah, Zulu girls. Oh my and God. curses. They there have girl, the natural body. I think she's American who mm. said, don't listen to South African girls telling you about how to build a booty. They built that in the womb. So South Africa's known. ATM, African for, trademark. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got the body. Naturally, the, the <laughs> Zulu girls and the, the Kosa ones have the body. Yeah. 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 So that's why in Nigeria you see it's like this. Sometimes so, you see uh, this one will just go like this. Uh, this side is bigger than the other one. Yeah. Sometimes the hips, <laughs> you don't understand. But you know what? I'm about you to know? get serious on this one. I'm medical. Drop it. That actually is something you need to factor in when doing your research. People think clicking on Instagram is research of which doctor you should go to. And it's not because some doctors edit. Um, and I don't think that's very popular in South Africa. Mm-hmm. But globally, doctors edit and things like that. And you don't really know what you see. You don't know what kind yeah. of bodies the doctor's working mm-hmm. on. And that's a very important factor yeah. when doing your research and trying to pick a doctor. Yeah. Because you are not going to get the body you are requesting. You are about to get the body the doctor specializes in. Mm-hmm. It's like... Asking Drake to sing like Beyonce. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean. Drake you can hear a song which okay, BBL. this one there is huh? Drake did a BBL. Drake My God. BBL. Drake did a BBL. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can. Eva. If you've got a Don't flat you ass, you can Drake. men do yeah. Yeah. Drake yeah. gets a six pack. Yeah. yeah. That's not really a BBL. And so, and some fat transfer. Well. So okay. what's that called? It's when when called some fat transfer. BBL is Brazilian butt lift. Butt lift. Yeah, yeah. yeah fat transfer. Fat trans. Yeah. So, okay, but, so I yeah, Drake. I don't know one. about Drake. When is Ibono if Drake? I don't know about Drake. No, no, not like, but like, like. Yeah, but now, wanna, why, why, why would it be weird? Know. So, but guys, really um, another thing is, I understand BBL is in fashion and whatever, but mm. people need to understand that not every woman's dream is to look like Ikare Sibonosi oversized. Mm. Like, I've had a BBL, but my dream is not like to have a huge ass that looks ridiculous, sure. that yeah. doesn't match my legs and sure. whatever. Yeah. Sure. So, people need to, I, I, and then there's a trend now, girls that are going. Like Kimang Sama Walker, oh, she's very popular. Yeah. She, she's very talented, doing well. But like the BBL is not matching the legs. So mm. women need it's yours the, matching the legs. Though. Very. Can I see? Mm-hmm. Don't you understand ah! for us? <laughs> <laughs> the right doctor no, will like, do yeah, it. Right. It's very natural. What if you say that I had a BBL? Oh, okay. Okay. It's very natural. Yeah. You won't say I had a BBL. Yeah. 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 Gosh, it does look good. I'm going to wear good. strainer because I'm selling wear strainers now. Mm. Yes. Yeah. It does look nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know the punch. No. strainers now. But you know the punch. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. do you understand yeah. what I mean? Sure, I mean, sure. I would, with the amount of fat that I took out of my body with the 360 thing, yeah. I, I, I should have had like a huge ass. But I'm like, no, no, no. Let me, because I was a vast blank. I was very flat, but I, I'm like, so just there's something there. It's now. not like something that I'm obsessed. If a guy that wants me is obsessed with big ass, buy honey. Not this you. is what I like. Mm. I did it for myself, not for me to have big yosh. Yeah. Then now it's not matching my v- beautiful, nice legs. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm. <laughs> I see a wedding ring, man. <laughs> yeah. If your wife came to you and she says she wants to go and do this, how would that make you feel? Okay, that's where the culture thing plays, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm. And uh, because the way we were brought up, okay, mm-hmm. we've been so deep into the culture thing. <laughs> this is right. This is not right. You're not mm. supposed to do yash. You're not supposed to do breast. You're not supposed to have sex at an early age. Mm. You're supposed to wait for my, you know, there are a lot of things. Mm. So at that point, I think I might say no. It's not like I don't like it. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. At least I've seen a lot of people who, I know few people, even Eva, mm-hmm. when she was still small. <laughs> <laughs> so looking at Eva right now, you'll be like, mm. <laughs> the other day she was standing in front of me, oh, this is called Tiku. <laughs> you know that kind of thing. Uh-huh. So it's, it's like that. You like it. But now it takes, it's going to be difficult. She has to really prove to me that she really wants to. If she's asking and saying, love, I just want to, I want to do this. Mm. I would say no. So so I, this is what I find interesting about men. No? You will not want your wife to do that, but you'll cheat on your wife with somebody who's like that. Okay. Now, okay, how no. now? 
the thing is this. I was speaking <laughs> to Dulcie. It's like a lot of men will say to their wives, no, baby, you look better without makeup. And then you look better in your natural hair. How then I find out you have a side chick and the side chick has everything. Yeah, that's how they The makeup, the natural are. hair, the big nyash. It's two ways. Mm. It's either the man is insecure, okay, he's mm-hmm. got that complex, whereby, okay, if my wife looks very beautiful, then she's going to get advances from men. Mm. That's one. Two <laughs> is he prefers to be in charge, mm. whereby... She's not even thinking outside the box. You limit her so that you know that, okay, you're still the man, you're the man, you're the man, which is wrong. It's Naturally, wrong. men are like that. It's like saying men cheat. <coughs> it's natural. Men just cheat. Uh, <laughs> is it natural? Y'all need to stop it. Is it natural? You, yeah, it's... it's hey. I'm being honest. The men, the men in the studio are about to kill you. No, it is natural. Yeah. Hey, you the know men why? in the studio are about to kill you. No, no. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would say this, okay? Yeah. The reason is this. Why I am saying it. It might be a fallacy of generalization, okay? Yeah. But to me... It's men are naturally promiscuous. Mm. But the thing is this. We don't cheat with our hearts. We just cheat with the shit there. Yeah. But that thing is not separated from and your body and your being. Yeah. And that thing, when you do do it, it's a break of, of you, 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 you literally damage a, pos- a person to the core. Mm. And I think because okay. men detach themselves yep. from sex mm. and the act of sex, particularly when they're cheating, they are so detached that they don't even see the damage that they are causing the person mm. that they're cheating on. Sure. Because you don't emotionalize it. If you could possibly emotionalize your sexual acts, you'll realize that you are creating a trauma in a person mm. that takes a lot to recover from. Their sexual confidence can go. Their mental stability can go. Their self-confidence. Mm. I mean, our sexuality, we were having this conversation before we started filming, that our sexuality impacts our self-image mm, quite deeply. Yeah, sure. yeah. And it impacts on your insecurities, your confidence levels, how you move amongst people, how you socialize, how you position yourself. Your sexuality and the way you feel comfortable in your sexuality. So when there's something short and broken there, when you cheat on somebody, you almost make that person question themselves where nobody deserves that because that wasn't their problem. It's a you problem. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? But the natural reaction is that I'm going to start thinking that there's something wrong with me. And also I will think that way because of how you package your cheating. Mm -hmm. You want me to believe that it's natural. You want me to believe that men just do it. But I think if we think of each other, yeah? Sorry to cut you short, okay? Please go ahead. When I say natural, I'm not saying all men. You understand, but but, but, but I still have an issue with that. Yeah, of a man. Okay, for men. Yeah, it's high than for women. That doesn't mean that okay. If you people get into relationships, yeah. people get into marriages. I don't even want to talk about relationship right now. Marriage itself, because for relationship, you don't own that person. But even in a marriage, do you own a person? Yes, if. Mm-hmm. Both parties are committed, mm-hmm. then yes, sure. But when a man cheats when you're married, then it's a problem. But I don't think it's a problem when you have a relationship because why? There is no, we don't have that bond. We're just there. Ooh. That's the truth. The bond so of yeah, marriage. The, is the bond. Time. Yeah. The bond for marriage is registered by God. Uh huh. The bond for a relationship, it's there is. You guys, it's it's just there. I can choose to be in a relationship with you today and change tomorrow and go to somebody so else. So what if it lasts for like uh, three years? Don't you say it's just the no, three years of wasting somebody? No, you are the one who somebody... choose to be the no. Lord of the Rings. No. I won't. If somebody, no. how can you be in a relationship Fair. for three years without a direction? Ah. I'm sorry to say why. But this so is what true. are you saying? This I, is true. I, I, I why? him. This is true. Yes. Three years, no direction. A that's man, they, see, a man who's romantic. going to, a man who's yeah, going to marry you, uh, does not that. need three years. Yeah, a man who wants yeah. to marry does not need three years. Yeah, maybe the way you're giving it to him is the reason he's still there for three years. Giving what? 
So you got married after how long? You got married after how long? Okay, I met my wife in February 2012, and I got married in November. The same Same year. year. Same year. Same year. And you guys Yo. are still together? Yeah, 10 years. Do you cheat or are you still... 10 years, not October. Ah. So, ah, okay, now. I don't... <laughs> listen. No, no. I would answer you, Eno. Eno, you know what I would answer you? Eno, you've seen me many times, right? Eno. Eno. Look at me. Look at me. Don't call people Lord of the Rings. People are in relationships for different reasons. No. Just because you decided to get married that same year you met your wife, don't call other people that are not rushing into married Lord of the Rings. No. Okay. Yeah, that we might are all having choice. conversations. People, not marriage is not a it's not a, a king. for <laughs> <laughs> an no, achievement. Like, so yeah. no, listen. Okay. Like you so, also no, said, understand. that's how you 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 viewed it on the three years. I, I'm I'm gonna take it personal because I have also been in three years relationship, and then I've seen direction. You know, okay. I've tried to build them, and they've tried to build me. You know, vice versa. And so, what but happened I thereafter? Thereafter, I'm still. Uh, taking values that I, 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 from the relationship is either wow. financially or mentally or whatever in my in my career. But both I parties are not together we're anymore. We're not together right? anymore. But okay. I still I, I took a lot of values from the relationship. Mm. No, yeah, okay. I think I think it's a bit it's a bit tricky to put a time frame to it. So you, you know, know yeah. because, saying, now, you because now, because now, I, I don't think, I don't think your, your previous. No, so I think when it's because three, of the question let's she asked. Okay. Let's yeah. hear this. Let's yeah. hear this. Because now. You were with your wife, your current wife, for how many months? Ten years. I'm, I'm, I'm saying before you married her. February. Oh, February, November. Yeah. So now, the previous relationships you've been in, have you been in a relationship any longer than that period? Very correct. Yes. You, you understand? So it's a bit tricky for you to say that after a year, then, you know, like, yeah. what, what's the cutoff line? Thank okay. you. And who determines? No, I'm not you know? saying there is a cutoff line or a time frame. Sure. You asked the question, and while I was trying to respond to you, that's why I made mention of it. Sure. Because we were talking about marriage itself. Sure. That's why I said, if somebody really wants to sure. marry, yeah. marry, yeah. the person does not need three years. Mm. But I hope in the, in the marriage, sure. they don't cheat. I was in a relationship for years. <laughs> that was, you know, I was in a relationship for years. And at the end of the day, yeah. I knew it was not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. When I yeah. found the one I wanted, it didn't take me yeah. time. You know, but sometimes... So that's what I'm saying. Then so back to your question you about cheating. You know. Just don't call other people Lord of the Rings. Yes. <laughs> okay, sorry, I apologize. Okay. I apologize, yeah. you know. Jesus. <laughs> Is that calling single sorry, mom yes. names or calling moms that have, <laughs> have different kids with other people and then you're going to say, Kitty Trace assorted. It's not good. No, 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 no. You know? Okay, you know, sorry, you no. know. No. Sorry, no. I don't mean so it that coming way. together sorry. in a community where we, we all, in the community, we being... Face, we're facing these things people call us bullies but they don't know where it's coming from yeah. we're coming from where we are damaged and then we take it out online on uh, other people sure. where they don't know they're actually damaging us and then sure. now we're going to be saying it like we're crazy when we're not crazy sure. so when so we're having a offended by him saying if you're in a relationship for longer than three years um, then you are Lord of the Rings yeah it's offensive so, so, so yeah. for me just in the in the spirit of moving on from the what was said and what but was said. But I don't heard. take it personally, but I'm yeah. just, you know, because yeah. I know a lot of people that I, I understand you. Yeah. I completely yeah. understand you, you know, I completely get what you're saying. Certain things are sad to hear, but I think in the spirit of moving on, let's say offense is taken and not given, right? You know that you're not Lord of the Rings. Us that we are in relationships longer than three years. And we are still not married from those relationships. It does not make us stupid. I see already a lot of the rings. We know exactly why we are in those relationships. Yeah. Outside of ourselves, if there's a person who thinks a lot of the rings, I cannot believe in concept a lot of the rings. What are Rana Lona? Rona already a lot of Rona about Bob the Builder and Arisia. Yes, girl. And, 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 and you, know, you know, sometimes I mean, I, I believe in uh, when the time is right, the time is right. I think mm, we had this yeah. conversation. Would it don't let your partner's parents yes, pressure you yes. or her cultural beliefs or her religious beliefs? Because now you're going to end up in a very tricky situation where you're not ready to be there. And I believe you can be with the person for five years. You know, you love them, but then keep loving them to the point where you actually realize mm. that I want to spend my life with this person. Because you don't see a person and say, I want to Does it have to end in marriage? It doesn't have to. Not at it all. But if no, it no, gets no. there. No. It doesn't okay. have to. Relationships don't have to end in marriage. Mm. But the only reason 
I did talk about it was because of what you asked. Yes. Mm. But yes. That's the only reason. Yes. So it's not so, like it's a problem for people to be in relationships yeah. Yeah. longer. 100%. It's not an issue. Yeah. But yeah. when it comes to the decision of marriage, like we're mm -hmm. saying, that's yeah. I just feel you can take your decision without having to wait for eight years, mm -hmm. wait for so long. And it comes from guys. Because it's, it hurts when you're in a relationship with someone for years, you're expecting this. It happens to some women. And at the end of the day, and the guy is not just serious. Mm. Or the woman sure. as well, your guy is waiting. Sure. And the lady is not serious. Mm. Sure. Then at the mm. end of the day, you spend all the years mm. and nothing. Yeah. But if you're not expecting and what yeah. you're looking out for in a relationship is different, mm -hmm. yeah. then it's fine. Yeah. Another question to you, now that we're on the subject of marriage, right? Do you think that religion and culture limit married people from having the best sex of their lives? Yes, it yes. does. No, definitely. Hmm. That's yes, so wild. Yeah. But no, why, do, sex. why do two yeah. people in a marriage allow that? I think it's, it's an embedded trauma mm -hmm. that you carry with you from the time you're a child. So I've spent a lot of time like looking at cults and studying cults. And mm -hmm. what happens is that it becomes your personality. It becomes this thing that determines your existence in heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. And so it's not something you just break away from. You know, it's something that people carry into their relationships mm -hmm. and they just feel like they cannot let, like, let loose because somehow there's God watching. There's, mm -hmm. there's this aspect of God watching in, mm -hmm. in, in, in religion and culture. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, I, I think... And I feel yeah. Like, yeah. Because I was, I was oh. thinking, I, I was taught that if you masturbate, you'll get hair here. Yeah. And I'll tell Hairy you guys, it's a lie. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> Those things really affect. They really, really, really yeah, affect. How old are you? you know. I mean, who are you? You're so interesting. Oh, yes. I am. Who are you? Who is this guy? Are you, are you the guy who doesn't have hair? Yeah, I'm so proud of uh, Kim Zulu. Kim Zulu. Ooh, my, I've never met a, I've never in my life dated a Zulu or had like a, a this kind of, yeah. yeah. Like a, a, such a very good chilled conversation with a Zulu. Mm. <laughs> 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 we can be friends. Yeah, you know. I know. I'm on a whole. Oh, no, no, I'm not Mali allowance. <laughs> he was listening to friendship allowance. Friendship allowance. Ah, no, you put that. Don't worry. I don't have to. Don't worry, no, Ava. It's not. No, no, don't worry. Yeah, Let I me know. explain. People get. I guess that's why I'm. Friends. Some Actually. of the reasons why I'm single. People, and the funny thing is, even my close friends, they know when it comes to relationships, she likes the money more. I'm more shield. I like to just get into relationships and like, you know. Let's talk yeah. about this friendship allowance thing. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Let's come back to this allowance thing, man. So, guys, hold on. There are men. This is what's happening in your lives right now. Yeah, you bear normal. witness to this. Very normal. There are men that cough out money for you to be their friend. A friend without benefits. Yeah. It's not like it, they are paying us to be our friends. Usually, my friends that are giving me money, they go like, you know, I didn't know you, this kind of person. Goes with Eve, I don't know about her. They go like, oh, naturally, here's a young 20. Here's a young... 20,000! young 20 <laughs> rand. <laughs> Or a young that's 20 yeah. thousand. Yeah. 20 yeah. rand or 20,000. 20, 20, and that's the least. What, 20,000? Yeah, but normally on, on a weekly, they can be like, here's your lunch, small, small, small. But I've got friends that are giving me like 50s and they be like, here is for... Here's a question. What are the requirements? The requirements. What, are, what are the requirements? I'm ready. Where okay, do we sign like, up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, now, now what works for me, I'm Eno. I've been Eno in the industry. A lot of celebrities are my friends. You ask yourself, and then even now, I'm very vocal. I'm on, on a reality show, and I'm on other platforms. So I'm very confident. So people mm. love me. And then behind the scenes, people think online I'm crazy. So behind the scenes, I'm a sweetheart. Mm. Mm. So a lot of people just give me money. They're like, hi, we didn't know. Wakaza. You know? Where do you find these friends? Wow. They, because they, we are absolutely ready for them. They like, find me. <laughs> When no, they, they talk about me. money being an energetic thing, this is what they talk about. Yeah. Yeah. They find me. <laughs> and then she, she, Eva, she, she's got she more contact. This is so why, where, where the money is, there's, there's, 
Nakere, that's why I'm getting the small ones. Uh, Eva gets the big ones. That's why she's on her second passport going to the third one. What mm. are the requirements to, to have to be a friend with a friendship allowance? And I'm asking out of interest. Trust me. I don't think it's an allowance per se. Like she's saying it's an allowance for her. I just get it. Me it's not an allowance. Yeah. Yeah, hers is like a monthly so thing, just, I guess. you just meet people that just give you money. Yeah. Yeah. Every day, I don't do anything for a living, but every day I survive, I get money into my accounts and e-wallets from my friends. Can I ask you ladies? So do <laughs> yeah. you think... No, th- how is this going to make dating life for you? Please go ahead. Yeah. It's, it's, do, do you think the easy. way you look uh, impacts like the direction of men you will get? No. You understand? So let's say, here's uh, whoever... She is Tato. And yeah. then this side. Aski is Tato. <laughs> if you're watching Tato, comment down below. Aski is Tato. Yeah. Oh, because look, we're not going to run away from the fact that uh, we all have heard about slay queens and what, 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 and how they are described. No, we've had these conversations yes. before. Nothing you know, new. So yeah. we all know this. You understand? So now, is it because if you look like a slay queen, do you now almost move into that category where you attract? I don't know. Like, how does it what work? What is a slay queen? No, no. I'm you should ask that question first. What is a slay yeah. queen? What is a slay queen? Okay. Who is so I'm gonna, a slay queen? I'm gonna, I'm gonna generalize queen. it. The mm-hmm. way people look at it. No, you no. Know, you, your pers- like, what you my think? perspective. Mm. I'd say a slay queen is a person that gets money for free, for looking pretty, mm-hmm. and for having partners that give money or a partner that gives money. You know, so that's, that's the brand. idea that I was given. Mm-hmm. So I've never sat There's down. A lot of definitions. The, so I've when never you, sat down. When you look at me, what do you think? Now you look, Kunje, you're right. See, Kunje, you're right. In a slave queen, queen or not? Not. Why? No, no you don't look like one. Why? Ish, mm. mova angaza, uko, chachara, who cute, manu. Yeah, you really don't look like one, you know. Because I'm but thinking, think, if someone is a slave queen, can they like have a business? Can they like work? Because yeah. yes. what, what, like what, like my monthly, I wouldn't say salary, like what I do, if I can tell you how much I get from what I do, like, I don't know if it was still considered that as a slay queen. I just think it was just taken out of context in the country, mm. like, oh, yeah. slay queen, people looking good, Instagram. Mm-hmm. And a lot of men that were not that confident and wanted to like, yeah put us down to not like hustle because we know that men are supposed to provide. But now with the whole thing, you know, women are like, oh, a man should provide. But if women put work into something, they can do it three times better than the man. Right. But as a woman, we all as a woman, sorry, let's say me, I want to submit. We all want to submit. But it's a thing like men now just want to do the bare minimum. So you feel like, you know what, let me tap into this market. Let me do what what men think we can't do. And then we do it and we do it better. And then they come and say, oh yeah, she's a, she's a sick queen. Yeah. Now people are saying, this, this guy called me and said, oh, now you're a DJ. Like, oh, oh like the Osangomas. Like that's what they're saying. Like yeah. they want to, they already yeah. want to be like negative sure. towards it. Like, yeah. They can see like, oh, she's going to, you know, do something yeah. better out of her life. Sure. Sure. She should just sit there so you, you're you not going to look at all the bookings. Like when I tapped into the market and made hosting this career, you were saying, oh, hosting is like they're going to the club. They're getting mm-hmm. they're getting paid well, that, well, by men, assumption. sleeping with the men, that right? The assumption. Yeah, the assumption. Yeah. So, so when, the assumption. We, and we, when we started hosting, to say we're getting paid to up, like appearance. Mm-hmm. Nobody looks at the bookings and sure. calculate the fees and everything. Sure. They just want to... Like, like that's nothing. You, yeah. you're so a say queen. You're getting fucked, yeah, just, and then yeah. men are giving you money. Even, you even if I'm getting please. fucked to get money, there's nothing wrong. I'm yes. already established. Yes. So for a man to give me money, I deserve yes. it. Yes. Yeah. And okay. honey, I want it. Yeah. And you know to kind it's of fine. answer <laughs> to kind of answer your question a bit, ne? Uh, yeah. How how a slay queen looks like? You know, yeah. we create this culture thing. Mm. Have you seen those men at clubs? With them kaba, tuck in mm. the belt, you know, yeah. the whole belt, the blesser all white, look. the all blesser look. Blessers. And yeah. what mm. comes to mind that I, this one, he spends on the woman, you will get what, 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 what. And you could be he's wrong, married, but because of how culture has put oh. it, yeah. that's why I can look yeah. at a girl and say, oh. Uba Nati. You, you get what I'm trying yeah. to say, mm. you see. Then so you it's get yourself tricky. into a situation and walk out with nothing. Yo. I just think it's, it's yeah. lack of confidence and just people wanting to, you know, like, if, if a community is like moving this way, and then yeah. some people are gonna come and crush, like yeah, especially yeah. Twitter, yeah, slay queens, what? A- sure. 
You don't look at the hard work. You don't care. Yeah. Why don't you think with you? Because with other women, mm. people look at the hard work. But why with you, they don't look at the hard work? A hardworking mm. woman shouldn't look like this. They should, you know, you a woman, doctor. Have you seen how they look like? Well, there's Dr. Nandi Papesta there. She's a hot one. <laughs> sure. She's a hot sure. one. Yeah, but there's, 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 there's many women. And that's, and that's, that's my question. And I, I think the reason why I'm asking is because one must try and understand why is it that there's a specific look of women. You see the, the weave, ne? the long eyelashes, the mm. perfect makeup, the long nails, the way in which you carry yourself. Yeah. When you are that kind of woman, I don't know why though, people will look past the hard work and make the assumption she's sleeping for the money. Okay. Yes. Oh. And, and this look and is not unique. Wrong. And this look wrong. is not unique. And there's, there's nothing wrong. If it's you're still, sleeping for the money, I don't see anything culture. wrong with it. Mm -hmm. If culture people want to sleep for... into the mindset of people. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, if, don't mind me, let me use the word, fox with your mind. 100%, go for it. You understand? Whereby everybody sees, okay, a woman is meant to be like this. Mm. Once she's like this, then it becomes a problem. A woman is not meant to... It's like we were talking earlier mm. in politics men don't see women as they mm -hmm. ought to. So that's the reason why in the church, in the basic society, okay, take for instance, I've known Eno for a long time. I've known mm. Eva for a long time. Mm. We've, the, only, the best thing we've ever had is a hug. Mm. You understand? But somebody who sees you close to someone, they just have that mentality. We assume that, already. Oh, though. yeah, sure. something sure. is happening. You get it. Like you said, allowances. You can get free money. Mm -hmm. Even you give us my guy. Yeah, my you friend. give. This is our brother. They can give me. You <laughs> give. If I owe my EGO now, I know you, you send me money. You give. You understand? <laughs> That's how it is. She's not lying. Nigerians, no. yeah. If I, people, if I, you should give. I, should I challenge them? On what basis do Nigerian <laughs> men no, give? It's, you know, so, I don't think it's... Nigeria, if you go to Nigeria, in the club, they can just... No, oh I'm saying it's now, not, it's not do you want it's a challenge? Not. I can switch on my GO, you will send me money. <laughs> Even more than that, 1K. Nigerians are like that. Let's do it all. They're like that. <laughs> Don't let me know. Let's not do it now. I'm, I'm telling you. I go to class, ask her. I say to my Nigerian guys, yeah. Yeah. call your GO. I'm not joking. Yeah. Other people will think, Americans do that. They say, no, they call your GO, send money. They give me the money. Yeah. Is it a youth thing or is it American men, Nigerian men? Should no, we look? It's a me thing. It's a like thing. Nigerian Na, so. Yeah. So if oh, I, a lot of like I said, years. you know, I know yeah. you, you, even <laughs> Eva is not like that, but like everybody in the industry, we have different personalities, but mm. I believe that I need to be getting the money for, I'm a single mom and I am in the entertainment industry. If I see my brother in Nigeria, we pay for trolley, we pay. So them <laughs> it's normal. If I say my brother, that's me. Should I owe my EGO? You say, yes, my guy. No one has never said no. It's him now. Yeah. He failed the test. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you failed. You know, I'm not lying. You know, you know, not lying. I you failed it. Uh, if I say, uh, uh, let me on my oh GO. Uh, it's not 1K now. No, uh, Bring me uh, my phone. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> phone. <laughs> You are a big boy now. You are a big boy now. Even on my life. Set up, set up, set up. Do one K. No, we don't do F M B these days anymore. What do you do? I've got Bitcoin. Mm, we don't do. I've got every. Should I say my wife? Everything. So is this what you do? Is this the energy you put out? You put out like that hard. Just give me money. No, no, no. How do you get money? Can I ask? How do you get money out of a guy? Okay. The no, reason leave him. She's already, going I, I don't ask is because she knows. Because you uh, now, if I ordinary one k, I get it even from like the smallest boys, normally. So ordinary he can. So why do you think ordinary. I boo? You know, you can't ask him that. <laughs> ask someone else. You Why? Know, I can, How do you, you get money out of a guy? I can, do you know what? On your GEO. So, so. On your GEO. <laughs> I own it. So, let me send you money. It's not my guy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not joking. If somebody cannot send you money, uh, yeah. let me send you ordinary. Uh, on, on your, on your, your GO. You're getting it all wrong. 
No, it's mm. not man. Okay, no, no. okay, what's happening? The thing is this. Mm. I can send you money. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. If mm. you're asking something now, yeah. you're asking later. Yeah. Or maybe it's a normal now. conversation. If yeah. you want mm. money, I, I can don't say. have to prove a point. Yeah. It's not proving mm. a point. You know Let's hear him. Let's mm. hear him. Because the reason is this, you know, <laughs> there is no time you would ask for such. You've even, I've met you in the club how many times? Many times. I've never bought me bottles. Don't ah, you know. I... <laughs> don't do that, you. You don't okay. remember anymore. So now, okay, speaking on this, ne? Uh, so, no. 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 We don't debate. Okay, okay. She okay. sends me money, we send each other money. So no, we don't like that's, debating. That's I can yes. uh, me, I can okay, I don't know you. I'm used to a, okay. a level yeah. of yeah. people no, I we send not each putting other the money. pressure yeah. and making me so, want to. So, so, so I can prove a point to you. No I've got point. it, but okay, I don't have to. I can send okay, no I don't okay. have to. No problem, no problem. So you so you you do send money to girls? I send money to anybody who asks me. I asked you where is it? No, not now, not now. We're here. You're yeah. asking yeah. you because you just want to make a point. Is yeah. that a point? I don't we need are like to do dead. that. Yeah. 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 What, does what does it but take for you to give who, money to a woman? Okay, if the person has a need, definitely I can help. I do that immediately. No, romantically. Romantically. No, no, no. I don't have. It's I don't send like money it. romantically. No, but romantically, your wife have, must. Okay, for my wife. Yeah. Yes. No, it's a responsibility. Yeah. It's. Yeah. How do I, yeah, I said, did I say responsibility? Like news. It's, it's, I uh, <laughs> how do I put it? Uh, it's yes, yeah. the benefit. So yeah. We're married, she has access to everything. She knows what my income is. Yeah. Oh, that's low. She knows. Hey, Can yeah. I ask you something? Another thing. You understand? Yeah. We I want to ask you something. And then the ladies, I want to ask you guys, I want to ask you, I want to ask you ladies something, and all of you guys. So we've, we all live in South Africa and we hear what they say about Nigerians and what, 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 what. Uh, we had this chat a bit earlier on. Yeah. Uh, that apparently Nigerians give more than South Africans because it's always a battle. You know, it's always a comparison between South African well, men. Well, I mean, you can put it, you can call a spade a spade. Nigerians are buying sex in this country more than South African men That's are. That's not true. Mm. No. Buying sex? It's not true. Yeah, it's, it's transactional, it's 50, 50, is it not? Mm. Yeah, it's, but, but, uh, is it not transactional? Like, uh, uh, mm. Maybe back then. Uh, they don't okay. Is that what mm. you were trying to ask? Yeah, so, yeah. So, so I, most I, of the whole comparison, you know, South African men and Nigerian men. Okay. You see, this is going to be a difficult Maybe one. Yeah. One yeah. is this. The population. When you say buying sex, uh -huh. I don't think it's a Nigerian thing. Uh -huh. Everybody does. Yeah. Everywhere in the world. Yeah. yeah. It happens. Yeah. Africans, yeah. Europeans, yeah, every variation. It's, yeah. it's general. Uh -huh. But the thing is this. When you talk about maybe spending to make somebody give you that which you want, uh -huh. then yes you would say, okay, maybe Nigerians do that. But it comes natural. The thing is this, we have a mentality mm -hmm. that, okay, you have to be in charge. You have to take care of your woman. Mm -hmm. And you taking care of your woman means spending. Mm -hmm. Not like, okay, because you're rich. A man who's gonna give you doesn't have to be too rich mm -hmm. to give. People make sacrifices. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like the other day I was, I saw something and it said, you value a man by the sacrifices it makes for you, yeah. not by the money it gives to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that's why <laughs> somebody can <laughs> give you, <laughs> somebody can give you as low as 500. Mm -hmm. Maybe what yeah. is God is 1,000. Yeah, okay. yes. That's how nice a Nigerian I'll man say, can oh, God. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Do you understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think it, it's been, it, it seems transactional and it goes back to the conversation we had Ni from different conversations I've had with different groups of people, mm -hmm. Nigerian men make South African women seem like more promiscuous and just loose and mm -hmm. deem Nigerian women as these... They they don't Balls just have culture. sex. Yeah, they're they're well put together. <laughs> they don't have sex hey, with anyone and something? everyone. It's mm -hmm. What the, is that the from? The Nigerian woman behaves like a Nigerian man. They're not going to allow a man to just sleep with them because, oh, I'm going to give you 10K, 20K, 30K. No, the Nigerian like woman, money. I'm the removing Nigerian money. woman, removing money from it. Make you 
sweat. You're gonna work for it. You're gonna yeah. earn it. Yeah. You will not just sit with a Nigerian date, woman. You're going to you earn date for it. For That's why it's easy for them Before to go for the South African yeah. woman because right? the South African so woman wants use... the money now, and the South African, you know, South African woman now, is not strategic. So South African woman is not strategic. A Nigerian woman like is taught a, from a young age has to be lose, strategic. A, lose sight. We don't, even those ones that you think that you can't reach them, <laughs> they've got their loose sight. <laughs> but, no, but, 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 but there is something that I know. Yeah. There's we something I know happens, like, okay? Not, no, we There's something not. I know happens in Nigeria. <laughs> I mean, we watch reality shows these days. We watch reality shows and you hear the conversations coming up about, yeah, you slept with that one, you slept with that one. And no matter how big a person No, we're not talking about being to me, no, I don't think it's, I get you. I'm trying to offer him it's South Africans <laughs> being. But you guys are so serious. What I see is this. <laughs> like, okay, take for instance, you know, <laughs> take for instance, you're asking someone out, okay? Yeah. Then you have to do, <laughs> you have to do a lot of lunch date, dinner date, eight months, six months, five months. You're still yeah. pushing and pushing. The only difference is this. Yeah, people get it faster than that side. One, one, the reason is this. <laughs> At the end of the day. The reason, the reason might be... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <all> right. <laughs> I know I'm trying to say it in an off-ramping way, but Mara, I, I very, very sure. <laughs> yeah, because now we are in. Ah. <laughs> so the end goal is so slow. Yeah. The end goal, the end goal is So we're still talking about cosmetic surgery and we're still talking about body augmentations. And I mean, we've deciphered that we 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 want to do these things for ourselves, right? But men have this constant thought that we want to do these things for them. Does it bother you that men think that you've made the augmentations for them and not for yourself? Yeah, it does bother me because men, when they cheat, they can go cheat, you know, with you on someone that doesn't even have ass. So it doesn't really matter with men. They eat anything. Mm, that works. Mm. Anything that works. Anything men that works. Mm. Yeah. Do you have trust issues with men? Yeah. What causes them? You can't trust a man. He said yeah. it. Men are cheaters, naturally. They cheat naturally. It's there. Either you stay with them, you're you know, you're a slave queen. Half of your life you're working and then you're cooking for him. Doing, he will still cheat. Is, is it naturally or by choice, guys? Choice. It's by choice. Audience says? Choice. 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 Hey. It's by choice. Naturally. naturally. Choice. Cheating. And then it's it's by choice. Nah, no. no choice. See, no. by nature. Okay, hold on. I need to I need to hear what the audience is saying. I'm gonna by turn my mic. Nature. No choice. Or by choice. 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 One man says naturally, and the rest say by choice. Okay, that's majority of men in the studio, by the way. I go with naturally. naturally. The reason, yes, men, as it's. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but now it takes maturity and spirituality for you to now make it a choice to cheat or not. You I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, hold, on, down, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Chris. Chris, I want to come. I want to come into this one. I want to challenge you on this one, right? Okay. You're coming into a subject that I feel very strongly about. So you're saying men cheat naturally. If we're going to make things about the nature of being, we're horny naturally, men and women, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Culture has had a way to indoctrinate men and women to think differently about their natural sexuality. Okay. And their natural sexual desires. Okay. If we were to erase culture from the natural being yeah. of us as human beings sexually, you want to tell me that that would be a man thing or a human being thing? Okay. I would say it's a man thing. I don't believe you. Okay, let me let me let me let me let me get this mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. Before or should I say okay, maybe it's my own view. You mm -hmm. understand? Men are not deep thinkers like women. 
I think that's a lie. No, 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 no. Wait, I think wait, wait, wait. When it comes to things like this, no. You are when driving it comes... my audience crazy, Chris. No. Let me finish. Let me finish. There's gonna be a toy toy outside mm. of the studio. No. When it comes to things like this, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Men are not deep thinkers. Okay. Let's hear. Let's hear. Let's hear, Chris. Mm. Let's hear, Chris. You know, before a woman would do something, women think far better than men. Mm. That's why you see some men do better when they have a very good woman. Yeah. That's they function true. proper. That's true. That's true. You understand? I because don't think I don't think it's because women think far far deeper or further than men. I think men have the tendency to want to find a lot of justifications mm. for their behaviors that might be hurtful. Yes. You have the capacity to think deep, but you're so selfish. In not your nature, but in your choices in your of choices, what you okay. prioritize. Yeah, very correct. Sure. That's why I say I agree with the gents that will say from our audience members that no, the cheating is by choice because this is a discipline. Yeah. It, cheating is a it's not cheating is a discipline. Yes. It's a discipline. You have the ability to naturally discipline yourself. Yeah. If you are a man who doesn't drink alcohol. Okay. You're going to discipline yourself and stay on the straight and narrow because you choose not to drink, not because of A, B, C, D, and E, right? So if you can choose to be professional and speak um, in a very professional, humble way and not diss your contract in your place of employment and go and sneakily work for another company on the side, if you can choose to be disciplined and be loyal for a paycheck at the end of the month, mm. I mean, surely you've got the ability to be disciplined and to restrain yourself. Sure. Surely it is by choice that you cheat and it is by choice that you do not honor the well-being of the person that you claim to love, that you would risk them for your own selfish temporary need. Mm -hmm. Then that is a lack of discipline, which is a choice. Okay. Yeah, sure. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when I said nature. Naturally, yes. Naturally. Yeah. The nature of a man comes to something that I watched on, was it YouTube or Instagram? Was that has to do with... Huh? Was that, it a podcast? Don't you think No, no, no. Like that mentality? has to do with the... Uh, is it... I don't know the medical term. Maybe the hormones or mm -hmm. whatever that men produce daily that makes... Uh, huh? There's, that makes them want to, like, they can get to feel that way of virtually every time. Hello. They just go, pa. And yeah, so, pa and pa. so do you so, have to put it in a vagina or can you masturbate? Do you have to break another woman's heart or can you masturbate? Not, because okay, yes. Not everybody you, believes in masturbation. Yes. But you believe in cheating. No. Spiritually. It's, that's why. Well, no, like let me explain to you. <laughs> let me <laughs> explain to you. There is something I'm going to say. Yeah. I mean, can you ask? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Anyone, anyone yeah, that masturbates, raise up your hands. If I can show my legs, no. also. We must no. have been. Audience yeah. members, yes, you know. I want to hear it by your shouting. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, you know what I said? Yeah. See, there was something we said outside, okay, yeah. when we were talking earlier. Yes, yes. We talked about the way religion as messed up with people's head. Yes, and culture. We talked about mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. That's the angle I'm looking at it from mm -hmm. when I said spiritual. I, I didn't say spiritual like spiritual, spiritual. Mm -hmm. But because of the mindset people have. So religiously. Take for it religiously. Mm -hmm. When you tell somebody, okay, I masturbate. They it's look at you mind. like, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it's fine. Where I come from, no. You understand that? Really? So they look at you like, Aibo, what's wrong? Why? You understand? But when you tell somebody you, they hail you. Yeah. You that understand? you had sex with a woman. They hail you. But when you say you use your hands. But you don't go around saying you masturbate. It's a personal choice that is private. Mm. I feel like. No, I and know. Also, but that's I why. With you, you am, I think I wouldn't say messed up, but it's like culturally you believe that a man should. That's why it's like men believe to, to have I five like women. Is, yeah. You believe also, that I'm a man. I should have magic sex. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, masturbation makes me like I don't, I'm uh, weak. I don't, I don't know. Know. Uh -huh. You feel like, you know, masturbating, you're like weak. You're not that a man enough. You know, I'm a man. I should cheat. It's normal. 
Mm. It's a cultural thing. Mm. Growing up, we'll know that, you know what, it's okay for a man to cheat. That's why the man will not forgive if a woman cheats. But a man, we must forgive 100 times. And, and this is what so I want to culture. come to. Women I, have an sexual ego. instincts. Remove culture, remove religion. Yeah, you're, Divorce those constructs and see the body for its function and the body for what it is. Yeah. The vagina also self-stimulates. Mm. Where you're not thinking sex, you are just in the most random place. Yeah. You are in the aisle at the grocery store picking out mayonnaise. All of a sudden, your bean goes, Sissy, mm. I'm alive. Hey. Yeah. I'm why? still here. Why now? Why now? <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. So both sexual organs, yeah. they come. Uh, there comes a time regularly for you as a man. And I want us to unpack this thing. Ne? The reason why I understand and I believe you will have more... Um, erect, erect, erectile episodes, right? Is because your orgasm is very necessary for the reproductive process. So when we are having sex to reproduce, your orgasm is what counts for the baby to be made and seeded. My orgasm doesn't count for reproductive processes. It doesn't. Whether I come or not, really the baby will be made. We just need my eggs. So it will happen more frequently with you. But don't think that this thing does not feel the need for just pleasure. Yeah. Mm. There are nerves there. Yo. There's things happening yeah, down there. Punches. It gets, it gets, yeah. it gets. And in order for a human being, that's why I like to look at the human being, yeah. not the gender. Yeah. In order for the human being to successfully pick out a mayonnaise in the shelf and continue with shopping and ignore this thing, do you know that that's a discipline? Because a person who doesn't have a discipline then has addictions will either go into the car, stop shopping, go masturbate in the car quickly, or go quickly, here, I can't shop anymore. Wanna want pizza? Ah, yeah. ah, whoa. Finish your shopping. Yeah. So, when in your marriage, in your relationship, you can't see that as a discipline. Do you know, you know, you asked something very important. I'm sitting uh, here, I'm thinking now, ne? So, uh, you talk about this as humans. You guys get very horny. Women we get, get super no. horny. We get Men very horny. Men don't understand this. No, Jane, nah. So we get very horny too. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, uh, there was a point where you wanted to take away religion and all those things. Yeah. Nah? Uh, those are things that make us cheat more. So let's say none of that existed. Yeah. Would heartbreak even matter? Because I think religion and cultural customs and all of that, there's those rigid things that say, if this person cheats on you, so let's take away everything. Yeah. We're living in the wilderness. If I feel like right now, let's go. And you're okay with it, I don't feel anything. So with that being said, yeah. what if other people aren't as affected? Like I can masturbate, mm -hmm. but he can't because it feels like Jesus is watching him. Um. <laughs> 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 so you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. yeah. So for me, I'm not touched at all. Yeah. So, so so looking at, at, at that balance, look, I'm not saying cheating is fine in any way, but let's take away everything. Don't you think culture and religion almost puts this weight with I'm being cheated on, I'm not worth it. I, it means that I am not, like, isn't doesn't have any bearing, if you get what I'm trying to ask. I believe if we were animals at large in the animal kingdom, we'd probably be as emotional as dolphins are. Mm. Um, we'd probably be as attached as dolphins are. Penguins. Maybe. Penguins as well. Mm. See what I mean? Um, because when you mate to procreate, you can't, and it's consensual, right? You can't avoid for that bond to develop and that feeling to develop. And I find, and I'm speaking maybe for myself, once I start catching feelings for a person, my personal red flag to myself is always to remind myself, do you know what you're catching feelings? Now communicate that you're catching feelings to this person. Mm -hmm. And as you are communicating that you're catching feelings to this person, if they reciprocate those feelings, then maybe advance the conversation to verbalize the expectations. Cool of whatever setup it is that you guys are trying to build. Let's understand if we're monogamous, if we are in a stable thing and we're building together, or if we're just enjoying this catching feelings and we're just trying to monitor these feelings. I think it's important to communicate because with feelings comes a sense of, you know it, it's in you as well as a man. 
once you know you've caught feelings for this woman and you love her, there comes a sense of entitlement. There comes a sense of ownership. Mm. We also have it. Yes. There comes a sense of unverbalized expectations. Mm. You expect loyalty from this person. You expect care. You expect respect. Sorry. All these other things. It's mm. instinctive. It's in our nature. Mm. And you can't avoid feeling that bond. Mm. Mm. The thing is, how do you regulate it, right? Sure. So that it doesn't become a toxic sense of entitlement, a, to a toxic sense of ownership, A, B, C, D, and E. So I, I think to answer your question, it, the way I think of my own feelings as they are aroused within me once I start having meaningful sexual intercourse, and there's meaningful sexual intercourse that a woman can have. Yes. And a woman can literally not want you, but find you sexually appealing. Mm -hmm and want to know what it feels like to maybe have sex with this sort of design of a human being, yes. get over it and move on. Out. You understand? Sure. So, yeah, 100%. No. Not every moment of a woman wanting sexual intercourse is meaningful. Mm. Really, truly, sometimes it's deep and meaningful. Sometimes it's just... Father, okay, on. thanks. I don't want you to disturb me. Sure. Even the way you talk, my brother, I can't handle it sometimes. Moving on beyond this point. Yeah. I wanted that. In out. You understand? Out, sure. And I think it's seasonal. It depends where we are in our lives yeah. as women. You know, and what we're going through. Sometimes to get over one man, you get under another. Mm. You understand? When you're going through a breakup, you've that got that phase. Goes, it's the same way with men. 100%. Mm. It's the same. Yeah. 100%. Sure. So to answer your question, the way I monitor my own feelings, and I'm reflecting right now on my own feelings, I think even if you take away religion, there would be those emotional attachments yeah. that come with the constant repetition of sex with the same person. Yes, definitely. Unless if I'm having sex with different people, yeah. then there's, no ob there, there's nothing in me that's... But if it's with the same person consistently, yeah. this man starts becoming my hero. Yes, mega pambi. Ah, young kinto, and the yeah. expectation would he must reciprocate at the same level. Yes. Very high. Yeah. And, and it must get discussed. It's important. Uh, we have to communicate. Because we're on stress. I step out for two minutes. I can't talk about it because you didn't communicate. I, I know. 100%. I you, then I become bro. a nag in your life. You weren't yeah. serious about it. I'm yeah. becoming serious about sure, it. Sure, sure. We're not talking about it. Now it's complicated. Sure, sure. Oh, mm. right, so I think, yeah, I think even if you remove culture and religion, mm, I think we that. would have those beats. No? We would have those beats. We are designed not to be islands. We're designed for companionship. We're designed for pleasure. We're designed for procreation. We're designed for a union of some sort. Sure. 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 Not to do this thing yeah. called, you can't yeah. raw dog life when yeah. you're going to be happy dying alone <laughs> by yourself. Yeah, sure. Ah. Yeah. yeah, But I think sex would be so much better without those, you know, restrictions. But I think those restrictions are okay mm. because they put, you know, like that boundary nyana, be between being normal and morality crossing over a bit to that side. 100%. Yeah. You know, like the other time we spoke about taboo, what, 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 uh, like, Ukshaya Imbozi, having sex Mbuzi. with the goat. Well, that, that, that actually Ooh, falls under bestiality. Bestiality, yes. That actually falls under bestiality. Yes, there are people yes. that are absolutely okay mm. with dibudi, mm. dinja, yeah. horses, yeah. elephants, but topic it, for another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A whole topic for another day. Yeah. Bestiality, how is it? Marika, you have never heard about it. Yeah. So, no, but you're not deemed as normal mental functioning, though. Okay, but I'm not going to whether you think you can handle things, there are women out there. <laughs> but I know men are, are capable of fucking. And that's not normal. That Walem Buzi didn't consent to that. It's a feeling, yeah. That's still rape, though. It's it a is. sick sort of rape because that thing can't speak for itself. Yeah. I've seen a bestiality video. This guy, and I think I told the team about it last week, I can't remember. This guy, no, this I was talking about it with different people, actually, not this team. This guy is trying to sleep with a snake. Snake is female. Obviously, gent, male, penis. You know, snake. this is a snake. And you know the snake is big, ne? and it seemed to me like it was one of those dangerous, venomous snakes. Sure. And the way he was holding on to the neck, mm. you understand? So he stretched out his hand. He was holding on to like the neck part of the snake, just under the the mouth, yeah. right? He was managing it so it does not turn because mm. chances are if it can turn, it's, it's going to attack him. Strike, the way that penis was such a foreign object to that snake, venomous and strong as it was, mm. the penetration of that penis disempowered that snake. You could tell that that snake... Traumatized. Has, it's trauma. That thing 
you cannot impose yourself on yes. an an uh, 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 guys uh, uh, yeah, e trauma yeah, no, when somebody is not reciprocating mm. when an animal is not reciprocating ourselves we are also animals that yeah. thing is is it's it's e rape it's just it's e torture because Yeah. It's this forced entity. It's like I, yeah. I'm, your yeah. body's trying to reject it. Sure. This snake's body keeps on going like this. This guy's pulling it back, holding it, nah. bringing it in. This snake is like, no, not this <laughs> penis. I want the snake's penis, not this one. <laughs> That's normal. Sure. It's called bestiality. Well, that's a lot. Eh? And yeah. zephilia. Zephilia is another Zephil- terminology. Is, is zephilia it. another terminology for it? That's a lot. It's crazy, hey? I That's know. mental illness, though. It's not a sexual. It's not on the spectrum of sexual fantasies, or that is a mental illness. It's mm. not normal. I don't think that could be normal. Yeah. No, it's not. I don't, so. I don't think sure. that could be normal. You can definitely yeah. go undergo medical treatment for oh, that. So goats are not safe in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, they see mad. They die. The goats, <laughs> goats die from that. Yeah. Oh, they do die goats. from it, eh? Mm. Before you know you have beds. Ah, I know. Ah! No, I was traumatized I'm, when I saw that. Let's have uh, a run uh, and uh, even dogs. 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 Bro, I, I genuinely like dating somebody that uh, does not enjoy that does not understand my language, so that you must say make it say ukila man. Mara wena osira. No, I mean not like that, not like. Yeah. But I I don't want to. I don't have anything against South African men. I actually I feel like South African men are more givers than Nigerians. The Nigerians, but but I like to be organized. Compared to. South African men, South African men that are serious about life, that are doing so much well, they give it like chalte e e e e to to ma inga ata. Is love money for you? Inga ata. Is love money for you? Do you see money to be love? Ah, na ke mutu fela o re chalte anga. Hamu na ko file chalte o kubantu o kubantu le. Because you mistake di kono mufa chalte. So, but hamu na list inji too much. And then ke abona wanyu zake atwa oye. How to get se karo na uso na uso na uso si baka na ke atama. Kids are dodge, my dog. <laughs> Where, but... Your decision to go under the knife and do alterations or body modifications, right? We're talking breast, correct? Um, we're talking glutes, the bums, yes, right? Where does it come from within yourself when you were making that decision, Eva? Of course, you yeah. Can, go. yeah. can I say something? A lot of people actually think that women, you know, go and do their bodies for the men. I don't think men really care. Well, obviously, if you have a big ass, men like to be like believe that. Oh, I need a woman with a big ass. Some men like prefer like a woman who's just who just looks like a model. I know a yeah. guy that likes women that looks like a model. But when I went to do my body, I didn't do it for the man. I did it for me. Yeah. When I look in the mirror and I didn't like what I saw, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go change this and that. Yeah. And people still yeah. don't understand what I did to my body. Because some people were, oh, she's bashed. Oh, her ass is up there. Because that's what I wanted to look like. When I went, yeah. I showed the doctor this picture. I'm like, I like to do this. So when I first, you know, my first journey, I went to to this doctor in Rodi Park. But yeah. he didn't do the the the, the things. Oh, so you so had I had to botch before. If you say he no, didn't do the botched. things, it wasn't was botched. It wasn't Was it not botched? He just, no, he just removed the fat. Oh, okay. That's it. I, What did you I'm not happy. Fat. I was not happy with the shape. This so, is the so, question so I wanted difference. to get an no, answer from. When you yeah. say someone is botched, that means they went in and then maybe the boob, maybe the nipple is there and yeah. then it's not like where it's supposed to sit. Yeah. Or like, or you went in and said, you know what? I want this S and then now the S is like sitting here. So what I went to get the second time, that's what I literally wanted. Yeah. You know what I mean? But someone else won't understand because they looking at it, you know, like what they prefer. But I'm like, when I went, yeah. I went and said, you know what? I want to look like a doll. This is like, you know how dolls look like? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I... I wanted to look like, and for me, and it makes me happy. And when I look in the mirror, I'm like, hmm. Yeah. So it's not for the guys. Yeah, Nurse Dorsey, you're, you're nodding quite a lot there. Yeah, and I see you're agreeing um, mm-hmm. with with what uh, Eva's speaking about. And I think I can relate also, Ivane, 
Because I look at my body after having three children, I don't like my boobs right now. And it's not about the next person, it's about how I feel. Yeah. I don't like my fupa. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. We all have it. I'm also a single mom. See what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't like the way the stomach is, and no matter how much I can try exercise, mine is just not going away. Very stubborn. Yeah. So yeah. I am I am literally contemplating a mommy makeover. Right. And it can stem from self without it being about the next person. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I was nodding so much because a lot of people do think it's either Instagram or men. Yeah. And it's not to say that's never the reason. For some people, it can be the reason that yeah. it's their partner or maybe they are in the business of entertaining or that they would they were inspired by someone on Instagram. Yeah. But a lot of women that I work with and that I see post up are women that are not even on Instagram, it's women who, some of them, the husbands say, you're not going there. And they were like, my G, I'm going. I'm doing like, it. Like, this is yeah. not for mm. you. This like, is not about you. I'm doing it for me. Mm. Yeah, like, mm. I know some men that don't want a big S yeah. at all. Yes, exactly. No. 100%. Everyone has, a, you know, like, I prefer I this. Yeah. I prefer this. So, sure. yeah. yeah. And, you know, your, your reason for, for Huloira, the uh, work. Yeah. I'm a single mom. Mm-hmm. I was a model before having a baby. Yeah. So I have always been, I've always been like a skinny girl, pageant girl. And then after I had a baby, I was like, I didn't like how I look. So I, yeah. I was, I looked, I was a bit chubby. So I was like, let me just go under the knife. Mommy makeover. Mm-hmm. And then I did it for myself. I'm still single even now. I didn't do mm-hmm. it to impress men or to be in the business of, of whatever. I just did it to feel comfortable yeah. and to be happy if I want to wear a stripe now or crop top. I'm wearing it for myself, you know, because yeah. a man can leave you the next day. You know how they are almost. 100%. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> so whether, oh, you can whether leave even them. if you're Beyonce, they're still going <laughs> to oh, Yeah, we can leave yeah. them or they can leave yeah. us. So yeah. when I did, I actually did the most... Uh, procedure in one I did 360, I did tummy tag, I well, did the same, BBL, I the same did, time. yeah, same just time. list them again. 360? I did 360, I did BBL, I did um, tummy tag, tummy tag, yeah, and I, I body contouring, and you know, I did a lot of when I. In Tlaloseta, you did all of these at the same time. Yeah. So yeah. you had to heal all of those at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Just describe to me the procedures. Let's start with the 360. The what 360, happens there? It, because it, just healing from a cesarean. Yeah. Because I also, I gave birth. And I'm imagining guy. all these parts of my body like <laughs> bruised and from ta- surgery. Actually, Tami Tak, I thought the pain was going to be the same car where I went a C-section. Yeah. So, Tam, I mean... Tummy tuck is not that painful. The yeah. most painful thing that I had was a BBL. Okay, I don't think I got 360. I don't think I got 360. How about you write 360? What do they do? Um, Nekilim Khan. Nekamileki Pete Peke, Tekeleke, ne? Pete. Yeah, Pete. Pete Sekeleke. Everything you can call. I was, I was, I was called a lot of names. I yeah. mean, um, so I was like very big. So I was like, let me do a 360. 360 count. Like, yeah. so so yes. yeah. that, that, that suction pipe, yeah. back and exactly. forth, back and forth. So, yeah. and then, they can shrap it. Kill any board. How? 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 A bully online. They don't know where this thing came from. Mm. I was, mm. and then now, even on my YouTube, I'm gonna share my before that has never been seen. Yeah, people thought I went and we filmed something Absolutely. where I was wearing the tights, you know. So I'm it? gonna reveal how I literally looked like before. Like yeah. I was, and then every woman can look like that, but I was not looking like that before. So I'm, I'm here saying I'm, I'm this girl that was always body shamed. That was mm. always. You know, and I'm like, but I was still confident. I was still getting the bookings at the clubs. Mm-hmm, I was yeah. still getting the TV. On our reality show, it mm. was only me that never had um, a procedure. Yes, a cosmetic Everybody procedure. had. Yeah. And then I was the only one. So, so, I'm you, like, so all your work is very recent? Uh, two years ago. I'm going under the knife again, but for the boobs, you know. Are you addicted now? Would you say you're addicted? Is it addictive? I, I've, I've had Is it t- like getting a tattoo? Yeah. They said once you get a tattoo, you're going to be addicted. Yeah. I've got a few tattoos. I'm not addicted to tattoos, but surgery, yeah. 
Can I add on to that? Please go for it, yeah. So it I think is. what happens a lot of times is that you get your tummy, t- your tummy done. Yeah. And now your arms kind of look out of place because now uh, your tummy doesn't match. And so you get your arms done, but mm-hmm. now your thighs, they look out of place. And yeah. so you go in to do that. And so I think it's very important pre the procedure when you're having the consultation that your doctor kind of lets you in on these things. That yeah. it's possible that you might go through A, B, C, mm-hmm. and D and for you to take that into consideration. Yeah. Yeah. And so also the weight gain that uh, occurs afterwards is also yeah. plays into it. So the first thing is to work out. She, she, yeah, she there's maintenance. Twice. It's and not a... No, I didn't go twice because of the weight. I went because I didn't like the shape. There's That's round two and revision. There's Those are two different things. Because oh, I only I went why? Yeah. But I'm going to go this again. This is what round two and revision. So round so two. with BBL, yeah. you can never get the best result the first time. You're going to yeah. go twice. That's I can name a lot of again. people that went four or five times. Yeah. Unless if you just want to remove fat because you want to lose and then like be slim. But yeah. if you want that shape, you can't get it, you know, done once. Mm-hmm. It depends. There's no so way. I, went I went once. That's why I'm going again. So that's why I need some of the fats to be up there. But like, I, my dream is not and to a, have like a huge ass. And the doctor yeah. will tell you you don't have enough fat. Like you, you want to remove for your fupa, yeah. that's fine. But if you want a BBL, unless you're going to do the skinny BBL, the doctor will tell you to gain weight. So I had to gain weight in yeah. order for them to, to, to remove yeah. the fat. To, yeah. yeah. I yeah, think it's you also need fat. important to talk about the envelopes. We talk envelopes when we're talking BBLs. Mm. So for somebody else who has looser skin around their ass to add mm. fat there, it's it's easy for their buttocks to adjust. So I'm trying to speak in layman's terms. Yeah. So whoever is listening can ca- catch on. Yeah. And then someone else's envelope might be tight, meaning the skin and the tissue around their buttocks is not enough to accommodate a whole lot of fat. And so in that's why immediately yeah. post-op, your, your buttocks is like tight. Yeah. And yeah. So and then after ta- some time, we call it, fluffing where your your skin readjusts and then yeah. it can accom- accommodate the fat. So you can come with all the fat in the world and your envelope might not be accommodating of that okay, fat. Maybe, oh no, so it's never, she, one uh, size no. doesn't fit all. What was that? Oh. Sorry. You were saying like, <laughs> She's like, like a lady on your show? Yeah, there's someone on the show that yeah. went so many times. Like, it's just not working for her. She'll do it, but you... What happens the, when the it just doesn't will, work? Sometimes like, the fat will, will go back, like the ass will go back to, like, to being flat. Yeah. It, it so happens. So what's the problem? So what that's happens? What like, she just said it. So, okay. Also, another that's thing also is very that weird. Like, when there's you, people that go for countless times. Especially yeah. if you naturally they don't have... Unless watched. if they put in, like, implants, maybe. Yeah, maybe. With the fat, the fat might shift, I think. That's, that's the reason, right? So there's a couple of factors that, that can affect the survival of your fat. Mm-hmm. It can be your diet. It can be your post-op care. Some people literally come out of their surgery and they're like, I don't have time to not sit for so many weeks. I'm going to the office. I'm going to sit. So that might compromise the survival of your fat. And naturally, you will lose a certain percentage of your fat. Like up to 40% of your yeah. fat will die. And just there's some people who your body just doesn't take it. So we're not the same. People are not the same. So... You might go in to the same doctor as me and it might come out perfect and your body just takes, everything survives, it's all good. And then for me, it might not be the case. But also, so it's a risk. You, yeah, you do need to feed your, your fat the right fats and work out and move around. And you do need to take the precautions that you're given by your doctor or your post-op nurse, whichever one, um, and follow those religiously. Even say you, Jim. Well... Once in a while. I'm actually back at it now. I, I don't believe you. I'm back at it now. Can I need it. Out of the, <laughs> I'm, I'm back at it now. Uh-uh. I need it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Because because Ivo, let me tell you. Let me tell you. And I, I can I can almost guarantee you I'm telling you the truth. Ne? You strike me as the type who'll go to the gym, get on a treadmill for 20 minutes, and 20 minutes might be too long. <laughs> Take pictures, <laughs> post <laughs> that you were there, <laughs> and go back to your life. <laughs> Am I lying? <laughs> you have a trainer. Shots fired. You, you have a trainer, a waist yeah, trainer. A of, no, a trainer. She's got a season a where, a where I don't want to lie, she's got a season where she she trains. <laughs> but lately, be honest, you're not training. I am training. Okay. Is it I do a, have is an it? app. She's so, a waist I do have an. I do have an app even. It's called, I can't promote it, oh. but I do have an app that okay. yeah, I train now at home. Okay, well, well I'm glad. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I mean, I want to I find out about 
the intricacies of how your sex life is affected post-surgery, right? I mean, you, we don't do it for the guys, but I mean, we have sex with the guys. <laughs> See what I mean? And these bodies have changed. How far have they changed? So we went for surgery. We healed, we like what we see. Yeah. Now we're back on the saddle. We haven't been having sex for how long? <laughs> how long do you not have sexual intercourse when you're healing? I think she had sex quick. <gasps> yeah, so I remember her telling me, no, I just used my, because you wear that faha thing and it's yeah. open there. So she was like, no, I just open. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I think, I think you can That's go awesome. Back, was go it back. not painful? <laughs> <laughs> but Eva, that was my <laughs> private chat with you. Charlie. So I think you can, you can go six months. See. But it's inspirational. But I, though. but I was very insecure in terms, like, because you get marks. I said, yeah. yeah, marks here. Now I'm, I'm deciding if I should do tattoos or if I should go for the laser. But I'm, I'm not sure. But I still have the marks. Yeah. So yeah, you, you like. Okay, you have I to do heal. It? If someone's gonna judge you for the marks, okay. Well, then, yeah. So how long after surgery? I let you switch off the lights. <laughs> ah, you're most comfortable without yeah. the lights. No, I'm saying, how long? I'm saying if you you like, had it after how long when you had surgery? I still have the marks. No, I'm saying sex. Tough, tough. Uh, yeah. When did you? When oh did my you God, the after? first one. Damn. Yo. How long did you? How long did you stay without it? <laughs> after surgery. After how long did you heal? I think it was four months. Um, me, I stayed, months. I stayed yeah. a month was because so I was in a very serious relationship. So I wouldn't like because she already exposes the clar. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, because I had like the most hectic procedure. So, but then I was dating Just somebody. Just a month after. Yeah, was but I was painful. Still, I, I, you know, I enjoyed it because I was going through the most. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you have surgery, um, mentally, like you, you literally lose your mind. Um, I don't know if, because I think I lost my mind a bit. In which way? In in a way that I was not functioning well, but I was still the inner. I was still with my PAs. I was still with my team. But I personally felt like I lost my, you lose your other side or your, I don't know how to explain. Because yeah, once yeah. you get out of theater, immediately when the uh, anesthetics are out, um, you, you, are, you are crazy. If anyone... When you wake up from that bed, if yeah. you're not going to tell me you were not crazy, I don't know what is wrong with you. But everybody, that went, immediately when you wake up, yes, I felt cold and a bit crazy. I was singing, let's go to the beach, beach. I felt like I'm Nikki now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, it's everybody wants, everybody wants to do it. Everybody can do it. Um, it's all obviously about how you manage your fin finances. Other women can afford it immediately. So, but um, emotionally, physically, people need to be ready. Because if you're not ready, ready, you might just lose your mind. That's true. Because now if you're a social media person, if you're doing gigs, now your friends are busy doing gigs. Now people are going out. Me, I was already trending while I'm in bed. My, you know, it's crazy. I saw yeah. some of some, you know, it's... How were you trending? Like literally post surgery? No, no, no. I, I was keeping it as a secret, and somebody yeah. kind of. It was on City Girls. So where did they get the content from? They shot it. <laughs> oh, these ones here that are shooting me. Gents. <laughs> Gents. <laughs> they leaked it on City Girls. Yeah, before she was like ready to reveal. Really? Yeah. You sneaky ones. Well, thank you. <laughs> For the content, Askisa, how did that make you feel? You seem to be getting upset by that. Can I just chip in yeah. there? If you just want to take a... Yeah. I think um, it's allowed. It's a allowed. lot of post-op care. Mm -hmm. So I, I deal with post-op care mostly. And uh, you cannot, even pre-op care, you cannot ignore the psychological part of it. Mm -hmm. I can name some factors that can cause um, depression. And I think when you know better, you'll do better. You'll be yeah. able to mm -hmm. see what's going on. I have my clients literally saying to me, oh, hey, I'm going through body dysmorphia. Instead of saying I'm feeling depressed, this sucks, I'm, I'm, everything is wrong. Mm -hmm. So one, the lack of movement can affect your mental health. Yes sitting in one position, the consistent pain, and if it's, even if it's not pain, the discomfort, 
prolonged discomfort, a lack of sleep, because you don't have your smooth sailing sleep overnight. And just a lack of sleep can cause depression mm. and anxiety. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and also should come not, and massage you every... Well, some nurses can come 4 a.m. to come and massage you. Yeah, depending. Yeah, depending on yeah where, where you're, you're sleeping. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. depends on where you want them to come. So, they have to massage you, and it's painful. Yeah, it's more painful than the surgery. I don't know. Like it's painful. If it's if it's that painful, and if it's that if it's that much of a risk to your emotional and psychological self, do you still think it's worth it? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Mm. It is because when you look hot and when you look at your videos, you like. Mm -hmm. Honey, I'm slaying. <laughs> Can I just say, <laughs> lymphatic drainage massages shouldn't be excruciating. They really shouldn't be. But a lot of people have seen that. But it shouldn't. remember the and first four days, you've got expensive. drips on. You got a aftercare. You got is the, expensive, guys. Is it? it is. Aftercare is actually very expensive. Okay, aftercare. How much is it? How much it did depends, you spend on your guys? Ish. For my surgery, everything it was 150. Just the surgery, besides aftercare. 150 to close to 200. Mm. Yeah. Can I just say something? The doctors mm. in SA are more expensive. But they're good. Yeah, the doctors here are very expensive. Really? So, yeah, that's why when she says 150, she's not lying. They're very expensive. Yeah. It's not cheap. Close to 200, <laughs> actually. So abroad, you can get it for cheaper? I think maybe because they're counting flights. But yeah, it's like I paid 65. <laughs> Where did you do yours? In Turkey. In Turkey. Yeah. La risca la Kadi is quick is a good take. Ah, say, there was no Lamarao. No, no, I didn't do my ass. I just did this part. You I just really had the, the, the hips. Yeah. So now you we've we come from surgery, we've done this. We like what we see. We're mm -hmm. happy. Refodile. Does it affect your confidence in the bedroom in any which way or form? I'm sure it shoots out the roof. Does it affect your performance? <laughs> You're the first person Ebola. that you had sex with. Said to Ufodile. Ufodile. How did he react? Now I've had a tummy tuck. Honey, you can touch my stomach. I'm very confident there. Mm. But you know. Ripula. So like a mall. What about a mall of Bulele? La Vula. What about a mall? Yeah, I feel like the. Love when it comes to sex, before you can even me and Eva, people when they see us, they think like we this crazy girls. We always having sex. Actually, we, I feel like it's because of the industry. When you're in the entertainment industry, you can't just always sleep with everyone. Obviously, everybody will want you, but you are very selective on who is your like man. But why do then they? Uh, you 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 speaking about as part of the entertainment industry, right? Mm -hmm. Then why do people presume that you guys? Are sleeping with nearly everyone. That's how people are. That's how it is. What is it about you that makes people say that? Because I think to a certain degree, if people say, Oh, you know, yeah, I can I can understand. Yeah. And that's me. But I can also be very peaceful. Yeah. You know, so it doesn't shock me when people say, Oh, yeah, Vela, I can lose it zero to one hundred. It's fine. Because we look like do we so are what dolls. is it about you? We are the dolls. Already when you're a doll, when you look cute, these people are always traveling. We have the rich guys. And we have this guy's... Do you change the rich guys? They are not fucking us. We've got people giving us friendship allowance. We club hosts. Friendship allowances. This uh, yeah. is goddamn new. What the hell? Yeah, we've got... We've Where got do you niggas. sign up? My we've male got, friends yes, are good, useless. Good, good I've, got, I've got allowances, actually, from a couple of... Yeah. A lot of guys that are my friends. Yeah. I'm, a very, I'm very single, but I've got rich guys giving me money just to be their friend. But I'm also that's a good friend. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's true. It's normal. If you're my friend, I'm going to say, oh, you, hey, Chomi, this is my friend. This is who, who, who. But but can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? Mm -hmm. I saw um I saw a video clip. I think it was about Japan or China, somewhere in Japan or China. There are people that actually sell friendship services where, mm -hmm. um and I, and I mean it, this is what I saw. Where they're selling their time, because the, the the rate of loneliness is so high. Mm -hmm. In I think it's either Japan or China yeah. that there's people that are in the business of selling their time for people to go and have dinner with them, 
have a conversation over coffee with them, mm. A, B, C, D, and E. I found that very, very interesting. It's very interesting. So that's why I can't judge. For me, it's it's impossible to judge because yeah. I think when you expose yourself to content and when you expose mm. yourself to information, yeah. certain things, they don't surprise you. Yeah. But I'm surprised that you guys get brutally judged. Number one, for your looks. Number two, y'all are trending for always the, the craziest things. Yeah. What's the worst thing you've trended for? Oh my God, like everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when I was, the first time I trended was on Twitter. She was also part of the trend, right? Oh. In 2016, 17, they were like, yeah. oh, at that time I didn't even, I don't even know what a visa what is. is. Yeah. They're like, oh, I went to Dubai. I got, you know, you know that whole thing in Dubai that She's people say Dubai. you do. Yeah. But only they, recently, they, you know that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and I'm like, I've never been to Dubai. Dubai yeah. So That's people just, yeah, people can just say anything. So, Have you ever trended for stealing somebody's man? No. Have Never. you ever <laughs> been with another person's man? No, I'm always having... <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it's a question. Okay, um, I, I don't, I, I'm tired of giving this man fame, yeah? Yeah. I'm... All my close friends, they know. I like, I'd rather even be with a guy that's normal and then I'll be working. But like... We are out there, so all of these rich guys want us. So I dated some guy that I didn't know is somebody's man. And mm. after maybe a month, we dated, the guy got married. So I didn't steal the guy. He lied to me. that he. he I said, there's a rumor you're getting married. Are you getting married? He said, no ways. So, so you don't intentionally go out of your way to I will, be I will never steal a, a, anyone's man. I mm. like... I like to be the first lady. I do, I, I, in this life, I did not come here to be a second best. I'd rather be single like this than to mm. be a side chick. Mm. Yeah. I wonder why it is, and you can chip in here, Dulcie, um, because this is not a medical question. It's just an, a thought process. I wonder why it is that a lot of people, especially women in society, when their partner cheats, they, they express their anger on the other woman. Mm. Yeah. It's an ongoing thing. It doesn't stop. No. But why don't you address excused. it with your guy? Mm. Not being cheated a lot. and I think it's culture. Out. Like, you know, men do that, you know? Mm. I expect more from my fellow women. But what if mm -mm. you don't know? I was also in a, in a relationship. I was it staying with a guy, but I never blamed the woman. He, he was always trending with all these dirty girls, but I was never going to the girls. <laughs> I think it's also just not being ready to leave. So you're like, I'm just going to fight anything else mm. around the situation. Still, I'm not going to tackle the situation. I was in a relationship I'm not staying ready with a guy. Leave. I was I was not ready to leave, but mm. I was never fighting the girls. I was seeing them on these blogs, and then he would apologize and lie and say this is a lie, this is our old things. But I knew, and then I was preparing myself to leave the relationship while I'm still there. That's why I'm still standing today, and I never fought those women. It's a very interesting one. I find it very strange. We're always fighting each other. Mm -hmm. We always are fighting each other. But you guys, you get. Um, I fight, uh, the fights that I've had, it's mm. friendship, not us fighting over a man. I'm very, I trained with fighting with other women, but we've never fought over a man. It's always fighting about the industry, contact, or this, or who's got more, or who, they always say they've got more than me, and then I'm like, I'm here, but mm. why, why are you fighting me? Women always fight women for nothing. She's also said it on her mm. other interview on Meg G. She was, mm. Meg G was asking, was like, why, what are you guys fighting? About mm. nothing. Actually, it's nothing. Yeah. I'm not allowed to say so other why do names. you do it? Why do you, why do you get caught up in all these fights with other women? If they come for us. And then when we come for them, they call us crazy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel exhausted already. <laughs> because 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 I mean, look, oh there's God. some truth to there's some truth to that because generally we judge the reaction. And we don't we don't really want to scrutinize the cause of the reaction. But aren't you guys just dramatic though? Do you, do you not just love the drama? Maybe we're newsworthy. Mm. The, the drama loves us. I mean, people have been coming to my parents' gate, coming for me. You know, <laughs> people have been coming for her. So they come for us. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, <laughs> they answer, then they sit like this. Yeah. Yeah.
We're going to go around the house on sex tips as we wrap it up. Sex tips from Oga. Sauda. <laughs> Mars, as well as Eno, Eva, and myself. I'm going to start with Naija Oga. What's your sex tip for the day? Okay, for me, sex is to be enjoyed. No limitations. No bringing the cultural background and religious thing into the bedroom. Get wild. Do it as you like it. Just have fun. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sauda. The, the wetter, the better. The wetter, the better. The wetter, the Did better. we hear you correctly? The wetter, the better. <laughs> Awe. 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 Uh, my sex tip of the day is self-confidence and self-love. Because mm. when you're confident, you can let yourself go and explore. But you can also protect your boundaries. Mm-hmm. 100%. So, 100%. That's my sex tip of the day. Confidence. You know, sex tip of the day, go with somebody that you like, that can be your friend, that you can joke with. Not somebody that's so uptight and then after sex, you don't know what did you do wrong. Like, be in love with your best friend or have fun with your best friend. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. I love it. With your best friend. I love it. Hey, sexy. Talk to us. Sex tip, do what works for you. That's simple. Yeah, do what works for you. I'm back at the lube, guys. My sex tips can't move from lube. Make that thing your best friend. I think I'm about to go use some tonight. <laughs> it's just that I don't know about myself or with my mans, though. Because <laughs> either way, the sex can happen. Yeah. Are you single or taken? Uh, me. I'm definitely in a relationship. I'm definitely mm-hmm. taken. That's why you're glowing. I want to look up his... No, no, no. We must not blame the glow on the man all the time. Albeit he contributes, but... <laughs> Yes, no, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You look amazing too. Alrighty, this is us. We're done. We're out. Cheers. Till the next one. Adios, amigos, please. Awe. It is the Equestart.